The 737 MAX has been grounded for almost a year after two crashes killed almost 350 people. Now staff communications reveal Boeing employees were concerned about safety before the accidents and the company was determined to oppose regulators. In March 2017, Boeing's chief technical pilot wrote, I want to stress the importance of holding firm that there will not be any type of simulator training required to transition from NG to MAX. Boeing will not allow that to happen. We'll go face to face with any regulator who tries to make that a requirement. A month later, another employee wrote, This airplane is designed by clowns who in turn are supervised by monkeys. And in February 2018, a staff member asked a colleague, would you put your family on a MAX simulator trained aircraft? I wouldn't. The answer? No. Just nine months later, a Lion Air 737 MAX crashed in Indonesia, followed four months later by an Ethiopian Airlines model. Both accidents caused by a software failure that left pilots powerless. They're outraged by the recklessness and by the lack of regard for safety that these messages reveal that the concern about uh, getting the plane into the air, into the marketplace so that they could compete uh, with the likes of Airbus, the, the putting profits over safety. Complete lack of respect or responsibility towards the regulator, what the regulator's there for. We showed the documents to a former pilot and chief inspector for the Civil Aviation Authority. He said the messages display contempt for US regulators. They just weren't in the picture. They were regarded as a bit of a nuisance, perhaps, but nothing more. And they were, there was, a, there was almost an atmosphere of autonomous, you know, we're, we're, we're the king here. Throughout last year, Boeing insisted it would have the 737 MAX back in the air, flying passengers in and out of Heathrow and airports around the world by now. But the fleet remains grounded, the production line stopped, and there are serious questions as to whether this aircraft will ever fly again. With 5,000 models already ordered, Boeing and its customers need and expect the 737 MAX to return to service. But if the people who built and tested the plane don't trust it, passengers may ask, why should they?